Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea and today we're going to be playing in some Fenty Beauty makeup and more specifically I wanted to play with the new Fenty Beauty Match Stick. This is the Glow Skin Stick in the shade Pearl. Like purr. Pearl. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you um, how this matchstick looks on my skin and then I'll show you some other Fenty Beauty products that I really do enjoy that have kind of been staples in my collection for a pretty good while. So stay tuned. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and just join our little family over here. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you again for constantly coming back, supporting my videos, and just being the best that I could ever imagine. Thank you guys so much. Now let's get into this video. Okay, so we're gonna start off by priming the skin and I have the Fenty Beauty the Instant Retouch Primer and this is the original primer and um, I do have this in a mini size because I remember when it first came out, I was like, do I wanna pay over $30 for a primer? And I was like, no, I don't. Um, but when I saw it come out in the mini size, I was like, I could get with that. I like applying this primer just in my T-zone area. I really like how smoothing this primer is. I don't think this primer is one of those primers that really does a lot, but I think it does help to just smooth out my face and, you know, provide a little bit of extra hydration to my skin. Just a little bit. It's not like a overly hydrating primer, um, but it is nice on the skin. So next we're going to go in with the foundation. I do have both the Pro Filter Original Foundation and I also have the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. So we're going to use that today. I have mine in the shade 350 and I really do enjoy this color. Um, this is probably more of like my summer shade. I tend to like my foundations if I have to choose if they're going to be more warm or more light. I'd rather them be more warm. But um, I do think this is a pretty good shade match for me. And I know that some people don't like the smell of the foundation, but I really enjoy this smell. <laughs> it's the same smell as the primer, but I really do like it. I don't know what the smell is, but I love it. And if you do have both the original foundation and this hydrating one, mix them together. It is such a gorgeous finish. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the Pat McGrath concealer because I used to own the, um, Fenty Concealer, did a review on it. This was like two years ago, I think now. And in my initial review, I liked it. And I was like, this is nice. I'm putting on the Milani Rose Butter Lip Mask. Um, I was like, this is nice, but it did crease. And then the more I wore it, the more it just kept creasing. So I ended up returning it because I just, I felt like it made my under eye look more old than it needed to. So I don't have that. I'm not gonna lie though, I do feel like I need to get it so that I could just have every Fenty Beauty product. Tell me if y'all are like that. But for today, I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Concealer because I thoroughly enjoy her and she's beautiful. Oh no, I used the wrong shade. This is M19, I need M16. I was wondering why this concealer was looking more like my skin color. So I'll just put a little bit right here. And then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe E8 brush and blend it out. I was using a Flower Beauty uh, brush to blend out my foundation. Okay, so now we're gonna set our face and I'm gonna go in with two of the Fenty Beauty powders. So I got this little mini powder. Um, I think this is like a, you know, one of those Sephora deluxe little uh, gifts that they'll give you if you like purchase $25, throw, throw in this with whatever code. That's how I got this mini one. So this is in the shade Butter. And then I have the normal size in the shade honey. So this is what I'm gonna use to set the, my face. And then I'm going to use butter for my T-zone since it is a lighter in color. For my under eye, I'm gonna go in with my Wayne Goss brush. I love this brush so, 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 so much for my under eye 
because I think it just helps to apply powder there so nice and effortlessly. And I like how I feel like the powder can just be applied more airbrushed than like packing the powder on. Cause I tend to not like a lot of, a lot of powder under my eye. Cause I don't want my under eye area to look heavy or cakey or anything like that. And this powder is more of a matte powder, but just like with anything, if you don't want something to be overly matte, use, you know, hydrating primers and then use less of it. So I'm just going in with like what's left in the cap to set my face. If, if I do have to dip back into the powder, I'll take this much, you know, like dust off the excess and then apply the powder to my face. And so that way I'm not over mattifying my face, but I'm still getting the benefit of the powder that, you know, will prolong my makeup and things like that. And same thing with the shade Honey, just gonna dip my, this is my Flower Beauty powder brush and fill off the excess. <laughs> and then I like to just tap the powder onto my face. And then once I have, you know, a decent amount onto my face, then I'll blend out the rest. And this powder for the longest time was the only powder I used because I just love how like silky smooth it leaves the skin. And of course it's going to prolong my makeup um, because it is a more mattifying powder, but I just loved how like soft and flawless my face looks. Like I'm, I'm loving, yes, love my face. Okay, now let's get into the face. So I like and have loved these two matchsticks for the longest time. So first let's start off with the matchstick in Truffle. I like to use this to contour slash bronze. It gives um, more of a neutral look, neutral bronzy look to the skin. And one of my favorite things about these matchsticks is that you can put on a lot and it will initially look like it's a lot, but then once blended out, it just, it looks really nice. And I know that, that there are mixed opinions about these matchsticks. For me, I really enjoy them. I know some people don't like the matchsticks because they are more dry, but for me, I kind of like them because they're more dry. Because then, um, number one, I just set my face with powder, but I was able to apply these matchsticks and it wasn't like they were like picking up the powder, causing my foundation and my base to be patched or anything like that. So I think if you just get you a good brush that's able to move the product around, I think it can blend easier than, you know, some people have experienced. I definitely don't use a sponge because I do find with a sponge, it is almost like I'm just wasting a whole bunch of time. So right now I'm going in with the Wayne Goss 12 brush just to blend in this matchstick. Then we're gonna blend out the nose contour and I'm using this uh, angled brush. And this is from AOA Studio. I got this in a uh, brush kit. So does it have a number on this? Oh, it does have a number. This is the AOA Studio E125 brush if you're really interested. Now we're gonna go in with my blush and I use the matchstick in Yacht Life. This is like such a favorite of mine. So, this reminds me of good old NARS orgasm. So just that pinky peach pearlescent type of color. And I just like to apply it right onto the cheek where I want it. Sometimes I'll wear this like a pink, pinky peach highlight. And then other times I will wear it as my blush because I feel like I could do, I could wear this in both ways. And then I'm going in, this is the Sonia Kashuk blush brush if I remember correctly I think this is the blush brush and just blend it out like so and so like I said I think for me the matchsticks blend out pretty well for me just because I go in with a denser brush to help move the product okay so on to what you're probably here for potentially here for the new matchstick in the shade pearl now this is what it looks like so it looks just like the traditional matchsticks and then the actual shade of the matchstick is that pearlescent type of uh, shade. So I have worn this once, so I do already 
have a little bit of opinion about it. So same thing with the regular matchsticks. I do just apply it exactly where I want it to go. Now, this is much more emollient than the matchsticks that I just used. So for this one, it almost feels like, mm, it almost feels like a balm. That's exactly what it feels like. So for this one, I can actually see that it did pick up and move around my foundation. So this is one that I would suggest using before you apply your powder. When I used this the first time around, I hadn't set my face. So this is actually my first time using it with powder on my face, but we're still gonna see, we're still gonna go with it. Cause I don't think my foundation has moved to the point where I can't still make it work. So, we're gonna blend this in, and I'm just applying this in the same areas that I normally apply my highlight. I'm using this Refer P09 brush to blend it in. Yeah, this is definitely picking up my foundation. So, we're still gonna blend it in. We're still gonna make it work. I think we can still make it work. And if we can't make it work, then you at least know what not to do. <laughs> But as you can see, I think we were able to make it work. What do you think? But as you can see, this looks so glossy on the face. And y'all, I am here for this. Look at how just beautiful this looks. And one thing that I like about it is that there's really no base color to it. So I'm going to swatch it on my arm right here for you guys so you can try and see it. Um, but since there's not a strong base color to it, any type of complexion, I think, could really wear this uh, glow stick. And it just leaves this beautiful, glossy, pinkish type of finish. You can definitely blend this in with your finger, even though I didn't do that today, but you can definitely do that because it is so emollient. Or like I said, you can go in with a brush like I did and just blend it in that way. It's not too tacky, so it does dry down a bit. Like, as you can see, or hopefully you can see, it doesn't look like my finger is sticking to my face. And looking at my finger, there is some, uh, just a little bit of transfer. I don't know if you all could could see that, but there is a little bit of transfer of the product onto my finger, but not a lot. But I think it does settle really well into the skin. And in terms of like exaggerating texture, I think if you had a lot of texture on your skin, I feel like this would glaze over it and probably lay nicer on top of that texture compared to a powder, simply because of the emolliency, is that a word? But the emollient base of the product. I think this could look really nice on all skin types, you know, whether you're dry, oily, normal, textured skin, non-textured skin, and so forth. Um, another good thing that I like about this is that if um, you weren't aware, the Fenty matchsticks are magnetic. So this uh, matchstick, this new one is magnetic as well. So I'm gonna finish off my face. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. You know, cause we might as well do a quick little eye look. This is what the palette looks like if you haven't seen the inside of it. It is currently still on sale for half off. So it's $29 um, at Sephora. And so if you're interested in picking up this palette, go ahead and do it now. But I'm gonna do just a quick little eye look. Probably won't show this. If I do, it'll be like so, 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 so quick. So I'll be back.
right, we are back. All of my makeup is on my face. I wanna thank my girls on Instagram for helping me assemble the rest of this look. But yes, my final thoughts on this new matte stick. I think it's great. I would definitely recommend it. I already know this will be something that I'll reach for really all throughout the year, but definitely in the upcoming warmer months um, because it's just so glossy and I love that. I love like glossy finishes that just make your face just look very juicy and hydrated, you know, like we've been drinking water all day long and I'm just glistening like i love a good product like that this is also something that i want to try under my makeup so i want to put it on because it is so emollient i want to see what it looks like when i apply it first and then maybe put a more matte foundation on top i want to see if maybe we can still kind of get that glow because this is making me think of the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter if you know me you know i absolutely swear by that i absolutely love that this is kind of giving me like that same vibe because i'm just my like the highlight doesn't even look like powder it just looks like gloss but like just juicy gloss like that's what this is making me think of and that's a very good thing at least for me and people like me <laughs> so i definitely think if you were interested in it definitely check it out um it is available on sephora's website and of course fenty beauty's website and um i'm very glad that i have it everything that i'm wearing on my face i will definitely list it down in the description box below i do enjoy how my whole look turned out for the most part everything that i'm wearing on my face is by good old fenty beauty um, this is the lipstick in the shade Spanked, and then I put on the original Fenty Gloss Balm. Um, I threw on some lashes. I don't have the Fenty Mascara. Why, Chelsea? Because I lost it twice. I have purchased that mascara twice, y'all, in less than a month, and I've lost it twice. And I'm gonna purchase it again because I love it that much. So I threw on some lashes because I didn't have the Fenty Mascara, but I highly recommend that if you are interested in it. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and this kind of chilled, I guess this was like a little get ready with me, even though it is currently like 9.30 at night, so we're not really going anywhere. But even if it was the daytime, I ain't going nowhere. But yes, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Stay safe and healthy and well wishes to all of you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.